What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Check out my book online. I got a book called Corner Stores in the Middle of the Block. I don't see any corner stores in the middle of the block around here. But there's a corner store. There's a corner store. There's a corner store. You got to realize, like I was telling you, man, every business in America, every business in the black neighborhood is owned by somebody other than black people. Like I said in all my videos, black people give away 98% of our income. We spend our money with 98% of everybody else, while everybody else live off 100% of their income and 98% of our income. And this is why money don't go from one black hand to another black hand to another black hand to another black hand in, another, in a black neighborhood. And the thing I don't like about these motherfuckers in these Arab stores is, like, they always tell you they don't eat pork and shit, but they sell it. And the thing about them is, like, you know, like, I don't, like, when my daughter was young, I never sent my daughter in these corner stores by herself because they be trying to rap to these little young girls. And back at the height of the crack era, they used to always be fucking these black girls around here, but you never see their women. You would always see black girls coming out the basement and shit in the middle of the night sucking these guys' dicks and shit or whatever they be doing in there. But you never see their women. And when you see their women, they women to be hat wrapped up and all that other shit. But you know, like, you know, like I tell you, man, like, I really don't give a fuck about these guys. And people call me racist or whatever, but I go there because I got to. So that's why I go in these stores. But I really don't care about these motherfuckers, these Arab motherfuckers. I really, you know, because they don't give a fuck about me. They think less of me. All they want to come and do is take money, charge you what they want to charge you, and send you about your way. But like I was saying, like, in a black neighborhood, Black people don't own businesses in the black neighborhoods. You know, we got this thing in our head, like I tell you, we're going to go to school, get a good education, and go work in corporate America, and then climb the corporate ladder to success. That's what we be thinking, or we want a city job. But everybody that comes to America, come to America to correct their poverty and open up businesses, milk the black neighborhood. And this is why black neighbors be so desolate and look so bad, because the money don't circulate. And like I tell you, there's a direct link between crime and and poverty and crime is high because the money there's the money is low and black people are not using our entrepreneurial spirit like we should be doing you know black people used to do a lot of things with our brains and our hands but now you know we've been indoctrinated and conditioned by this dumb shit we see on tv and everybody want to be like 50 shades of gray walking around with a suit and tie on and thinking they'll be making a million dollars a year and shit and it's not necessarily true and like i said before a lot of these guys go to school and they can't find a job and they can't find a job in which they went to school for so now they got to pay back the money they got to pay back the money they, they uh, loan from the school and they don't have a job. So that's why you be seeing guys with master degrees, master degrees working at McDonald's and shit like that. And I always tell people the best thing to do is to get a trade. Get a trade. And that way you, the debt is not as high. You know, and you usually find a job right away. And You know, but this is what I be telling black people. And this is why I see it the way it is. You know what I'm saying? And this is why black neighborhoods are bad. All right, y'all. I got to go my phone ringing. I'll make a part two. Peace.